Have you ever gotten into a fight about personal space on a flight? Well, in the past week, there have been three separate instances where a flight had to land early because passengers got into arguments over reclining their seats. Yes, in one instance, a man got a cup of water thrown into his face. In another, the woman was so offended at a recliner that she screamed for the flight to land immediately, so they did. <laughs> With airlines shoving more and more people into smaller and smaller spaces, is this the new normal for flights? Should we expect at least one altercation per flight? What about you guys? Have you ever witnessed this or, or worse, been a part of some personal space violation on an airline? Louis, you, uh, any, any, anything? My space is always violated when I fly because the seats are just way too small. Like, I'm 6'2", 230 pounds, more or less, right? So... The minute I sit down, especially if it's the middle seat, it, the person in front of me can't, you know, they can't recline because my knees are like right up against the chair already. Right. So what I tend to do is I raise my knees a little bit high, just a little bit, so that if they do try, it'll just it'll just back in right into my knee, and they can't they can't recline. They just can't. Uh -huh. Now that right. sounds very uncomfortable, but it's actually not because the way it works is I lift both my knees at the same time. It, it's almost like they like lock in with the back of the seat in front of me, and every single time I do that, so the person in front of me, they always recline. They can't do it, and so they hmm. try harder, and then they turn around, and they just look and like, oh, okay, I guess it doesn't work, and they stop, but yeah. it, it works. It absolutely works. It's amazing that you haven't like had someone be like, excuse me, sir, it's my right to recline. You should move your knees or something. But I mean, I guess that's just me having a poor view of humanity. <laughs> and that we're like <laughs> so eager to just get into a fight over things. Dan, Dan, what about you? Any any instances of... You know, I've, I've never uh, witnessed any, and nor have I ever been a part of any, uh, because I try to sit, you know, either in an emergency aisle or by the bulkhead, because, I mean... You know, I'm 6'2", I'm slightly shorter than Lewis, but I still, like, i got to have some leg room because I've been on flights where there's maybe a quarter of an inch between my knees right. and the seat, and right, yeah. sadly, the people that I fly on the same plane with Lewis, like, uh, <laughs> as opposed to you, don't give a rat's behind about <laughs> my, uh, my knees and just will go straight back and... So you yeah. you've actually changed the way you buy tickets uh, to avoid this, whereas oh, yeah. whereas Lewis has kind of created a situation to defend against it, and me not being as tall as you guys, so it's it's not really that big of an issue for me. I just like when it happens to me, I just internalize it and stew and like <laughs> just kind of get really mad that someone's head is like right. You know, because, I mean, they were reclined so far. And right, like, right. Like, it's, like, right there. And I'm just, like, ooh, inside I'm, I'm like, shouting at them, but I internalize it. I bring it, I bring it all down. But, you know, I, it's also I don't recline either because I'm worried that I'm right. going to upset someone behind me. Like, I know exactly. Recline. What a world I live in where I'm afraid to recline because I don't want to hear from, you know. So I never recline. Well, I mean, at least all the way. I never would recline all the way. I, I would, I'm just too I'm just too scared. Well so, now here's here's what I do. I usually before I recline I will either hang up and go to the restroom so I can see the configuration of the person behind me. Like if they have a laptop on their you know right. tray, I won't lean back. Because I mean come on, they don't need that lodged in their sternum. Right, right. So, so I'll I'll either gently go back just a tiny, tiny little bit or I won't at all. Just or out of make a beeping here. noise. Deep. <laughs> but it, it's sad the fact that three flights have been grounded because of this. I mean, is this what Facebook has done to us? We can't, as a society, we can't sit still for more than three hours without getting into a fight. People can't interact, say, oh, excuse me, you know, can you please move up a little bit because my knees are hurting or, or, or whatever. I mean, right. why why can't people do that? I mean, right. have, can we really not sit still for, thir you know, that for a flight? Right. And another thing, like, this, this bothers me not just about flights, but in general everywhere, you know, we all come in different sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, whatever. You know, why don't seats come in those sizes as well? As well, yeah, can the yeah. manufacturing. You can't make all these different seats. You gotta, yeah, yeah one size for. for <laughs> well, all, see, I know? mean, honestly, I don't think they have upgraded plain seats since the 1950s, as oh, far as size goes. Upgraded them for because, sure because we're using <laughs> the same old planes. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. And, Right. And part of the problem is, I mean, you know, some airlines have touted, you know, we've removed rows of seats to give you more legroom, but that doesn't matter. I mean, you still, the people 
I, I don't know. They're still basically are, are, are taller today than than ever before, maybe, or I don't know. But to your to your to your point, Lewis, uh, I think we just hear about these people that get incensed about it. You never you never hear a story about the guy that reclined and the woman behind was like, "I'm sorry, I you know you're just a little too right, close," right. and they're like, "Oh, I'll move up a little bit." You know, right. that never makes front page news. You know, <laughs> no. versus reclined stance after woman <laughs> kindly. You know, although in in this day and age that would make headline news. Uh, well, that's our two cents. What's yours? How do you deal with personal space violations on a flight? Have you ever gotten into an amusing altercation? <laughs> Tell us about it in the comments below. And if you want to try and have an argument over reclining seats, head over to dealnews.com and click on the travel and entertainment to find great deals on airfare to lots of destinations so you can get into these situations. <laughs> that's dealnews.com. For dealnews.com, along with Luis Ramirez and Dan Ledbetter, I'm Jeff Zomaji. Goodbye.